people need to suffer with me. This is Obsidio, obviously, by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, the third and final book in the Illuminae Files trilogy. So the first half of this video, I'm going to try to remain as spoiler-free as possible, and I will let you know when I get into a more spoilery discussion. I don't know what to say. I tore through this book in about two days. It's just over 600 pages. I don't have Illuminae or Gemina on me because I lent them to a friend so that they could suffer the same level of emotional heartbreak roller coaster that I went on with this series. So if you are one of the like 2% of people who don't know what the Illuminae files are, it, there's three books, Illuminae, Gemina, and now Obsidia, which just came out in March, that it is not set up like a novel, it is set up like chat logs, emails, video transcripts of fictionalized documents revolving around the attempted invasion of a planet by a private militarized industry. In Illumina, you start on the planet Carenza 5? Carenza 6? You start on the planet Carenza with two of our main characters, Katie and Ezra. Uh, their planet is invaded and then you, the first book follows their journey through escaping this invasion. Then the second book, Gemina, follows Hannah and Nick and they are sort of on the other side of the universe and they're finding out about this as it goes and that book follows them sort of and their adventures of trying to navigate to a safe place on their spaceship. And then in the third book, all of our characters from the first two books are together. They're trying to bring about the fall of the bad guys, basically. This book has everything. I never thought I would like science fiction novels as much as I do with these books. They are uniquely set up. They have really good characters. I love all of the characters. There is emotion and adventure and science fiction and romance and a little bit of like spooky scary stuff and then there is you are introduced in the first book so this is not necessarily a spoiler an artificial intelligence system called Aiden which stands for artificial intelligence defense analytics network or something like that his name's Aiden and he is sort of like he's a computer so he thinks on the logical path so if you watch the most recent Star Trek movies with Chris Pine and Zachary Quinto he is like Spock in those movies he's very sassy without necessarily understanding that he's being sassy because he has no grasp of human communication nuances and stuff like that so he's really funny without being funny and then he just does some things that really make you feel conflicted. So now to get a little more spoily, in this third book, he has to make the choice of, I'm on a ship and there's not enough oxygen for all 3,000 something people. Do I let all 3,000 people die or do I select 2,000 people to die so that 1,000 people can live? Which is a moral qualm uh, and it's one that humanity has faced for a long time but because he's AI he goes the most logical path is to kill 2,000 people and he does it and you're conflicted because is that the right thing to do? Nobody really... Do you let 3,000 people die when killing 2,000 ensures that 1,000 of them will live? And nobody has the right to make that decision, but Aiden takes it upon himself to do so anyway. Aiden is probably the most frustrating character ever to exist because you see how he reaches the conclusions that he does because they're purely logical, but there's no human emotion or empathy. So you understand his decisions. You look at him like, I don't know. I love these seri this series. This is probably going to be one of my top series of all time and it will probably take a really long time for it to be dethroned. These are also just really cool looking books. They're just really cool. I very rarely pre-order books. This is the one pre-order book I've had all year. I did not pre-order A Court of Frost and Starlight, but this book, I needed it. And I'm pretty sure that Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, while they were writing the series, said, fuck them and their feelings we're gonna do what we want. If you have not read the Illuminae series, you need to. It is so good. I love all of the characters in this, even the bad ones, because you understand their thought process. 
The ultimate bad guys are definitely bad guys, but even people who make decisions you don't agree with, you can understand how they got to that decision. Like I said with Aiden, he thinks purely logical and logically killing 2,000 people makes perfect sense in that situation. But emotionally, that's not good. Nick Malakov is funny. Hannah Donnelly is badass. Katie Grant is amazing. And Ezra Miller is just really super talented in his own skill set. I, I love... I love this book. Aiden continues to entertain me even with his shady, shady, moral, morally gray decisions because he has no morals because he's a computer. This series is where we get the beautiful quote that's all over bookmarks and prints and things that you'll see all over the bookish shops in Etsy that says, am I not merciful? Because of this book and this series and my super massive love for it, my lit love box theme for May is the Final Frontier science fiction themed. It's going to be very exciting. I will put out more information with that when I do my April Badass Ladies unboxing for the Lit Love Box. If you've not read these books, you need to. I cannot recommend these enough. My friend, I lent her the first two and she texted me. It was like, I can't believe you've done this to me. Why have you put me on this emotional path? And it's because if I have to suffer this emotional roller coaster, people need to suffer with me. All right, down below, I have Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Tumblr, Kick all the things for you to reach me on. Love to read all the books and be best friends. Bye guys.